Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your love reading. We're going to see what energy comes through here for you. If this reading resonates, uh, there will be an extended reading link uh, in the description box and in the comments. You can check it out if you like. I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward from this reading and I'll dive deeper into who you are connecting with. So with that, Sagittarius, all right, already getting a card uh, popping out here. Hmm. All right, let's uh, see what else comes through here. Okay, so Sagittarius. There's somebody from your, I'm just going to say right off the bat here, there's somebody from your past that wants a new beginning with you. Look at this. You've got nostalgia. Someone's thinking about you. Somebody's missing you. Could also be um, a past life soulmate connection. You also have here freedom. This is uh, the full card. Somebody wants a new beginning. I'm seeing the lightning bolt too. That's what I said. I feel like unexpectedly there's someone that uh, wants to come towards you, wants a new beginning. This is someone I feel you got external party here. So there was some sort of external party or situation that happened between you and this person. Now, this, in this deck, this is talking about external situations. It can talk about karmic partners, friends, family, work, other people involved or obligations. One of those things came, interfered between you and this person. Okay. And I feel like you're going to hear from the, not the external party, but you're going to hear from somebody where there was a situation that came between the two of you. You have spiritual awakening here too. This is um, enlightenment and it's also life lessons. Okay. So I feel like whatever happened between the two of you, really, this is telling me that it needed to happen because there was some life lessons that needed to be learned here. Now, whether it was with you, whether it was your, your person, or this person, I should say, or both of you, and I'm always say, take the roles how they resonate with you, okay? You got the uh, control card. This also talks about conflicts. It can also talk about sabotage, okay? What I'm gonna say here too, this can also be something that was very painful. It also talks about trust issues. You also have here the abundance card. Okay, so something, um, it's a situation where there was some sort of conflict between the two of you. And I'm going to say, it may also be that energy where it is meant for you and this person to come back together, okay, to resolve what has happened in the past or to rekindle this connection. So let's see what comes through here. Uh, Sagittarius, I don't know if you know who this is, let me know in the comments, uh, you know, or if you don't know who this is. So with that, let's see what comes through here for you. What else does Sagittarius need to know about this? Look at that. And it's, it, it, Ten of Swords shows me this exter there was an ending here with you and this person from an ex external party situation. Something caused an ending here. We'll clarify. Ah, look at that. There's the tower. Another confirmation there. Okay. So let's go through this. You have here uh, the Four of Swords and you have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's missing you. 
somebody still wants to work on this connection they could be missing your attention too i feel with this eight of pentacles could also tell me um, because the external party can be also a work situation it could be that somebody's work here got in the way but let's do some clarifying here tell me more about this four of swords somebody's uh gathering their thoughts here thinking about you hmm you got seduction here okay again a third party keep picking up a third party situation now this can talk about also attraction but got picture here missing you okay looking at your photos okay it's just telling me this person's thinking about you they're looking at your photos now some of you it could be also too that this person's thinking about whatever this this external situation was really uh thinking about the memories the two of you have shared tell me more about this eight of pentacles okay yeah heartbreak and pain so somebody who whatever happened between the two of you in this situation it's again showing me there was an ending here um there's heartbreak there's loss some of you there could have even been some deception or lies but see this is what i see here you have uh freedom the full card the wheel of fortune and the king of pentacles some of you are dealing with a capricorn a taurus or a virgo something's changing here tell me more about this wheel of fortune tell me more about this wheel of fortune yeah look at that the sword and the rose clarity and truth you know i said here here's that spiritual awakening somebody is seeing the truth has more clarity i feel from a past situation or after a past situation happened there's definitely it's also a card of determination determination got the clock here so there's been some time that has passed some cycles have passed it's a card of healing tell me more about this king of pentacles tell me more about this king of pentacles okay this is the hammer card working on it wanting to repair someone who wants to bring stability back to this connection okay you got addiction here so this could tell me uh, this is somebody who could be possessive or controlling it's even a, a, a codependent energy now addictions could be involved here but this is also somebody who doesn't want to let go now like i said ten of swords here and the tower shows me that something came between you and this person tell me more about this ten of swords in the tower what do we need to know about this huh twin flame yeah some of you are dealing with a twin flame what else can you tell me about this ten of swords in the tower passion a lot of chemistry sparks here between the two of you both of you um have a desire to be with each other bottom of the deck here you have the teddy bear interested in you okay yeah this person wants to see you again that's why you're going to get some sort of communication look and here's the, the text message here's the communication so you're going to get a call a dm six of swords okay this is uh somebody wanting to move past the conflict that happened in the situation having some enlightenment epiphany here somebody has regrets two of wands now this could tell me this two of wands is you making a decision do i want to go down that path again with this person because you got the pay uh you know here's the communication but the spiritual awakening is also a rebirth so there's an opportunity for you and this person to have a new beginning together tell me more about this page of cups abundance okay 
Well, this person's coming towards you with a positive mindset. Okay, this talks about gratitude. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Oh, wow. Wedding rings. And you also have here a Sunday. This person wants a commitment. Or they want to move in a direction here of commitment. I'm seeing this card popped out too. You got grounding here, learning, expansion, preparing for union, new phase. Now, on a side note, Sagittarius, this could be a new person. Let's clarify, let's clarify that. Let's see if that's a new love. Because that could tell me some of you, you know, like I said, you may be deciding to uh, take a new path because there was an external party involved in this past situation but you're going to hear from you're going to hear from this person whoever it is is this a new the page of cups is this a new person No. Ten of Swords is a no. Five of Coin is a no. Somebody I feel in the past, the Five of Coin, somebody you have some sort of conflict. Ten of Swords, the Chariot, and the Hermit. Somebody who has been thinking about you. Somebody I feel who has kind of been very disciplined, had some willpower. Somebody I feel at times um, tested you. Somebody who's been doing a lot of self-isolation and thinking here, okay? Like I said, they're coming towards you. This could even be an apology. They're coming towards you with a positive mindset. They're going to make some sort of gesture that gestures to communication. But I feel like this is someone who wants to move in the direction of possibly here um, commitment or marriage. They're coming towards you in a stable energy. What's very interesting. So it does feel like I want to clarify this external party. What's this external party about? Now, like I said, it could be an obligation. It could be friends, work, or karmic situation. Okay. Boundaries. Well, definitely you had to set boundaries with this person. And I feel like this is somebody that maybe you've been avoiding communicating with or you could feel that this person has been avoiding you. You have soul connection. And Cupid's arrow. Oh my gosh. And the butterfly. Well... As a result of what happened, it just shows me you had to set boundaries with this person, okay? There definitely is a strong connection here. This is a love is coming. Butterfly evolving to the next phase here. After separation, here's separation, sadness, thinking about you. So yeah, and that's, you know, it goes back to here. This person's been thinking about you about this new beginning after something intervened uh, between the two of you. This person now is realizing the truth. Now, if there was a third person that came between you and them, I mean, became between you and this person, this person is realizing the truth about it. Okay. They've gained some clarity here after a period of time of distance isolation. So they're going through, um, I feel here, a spiritual awakening, Sagittarius. So I, I'm going to take it to the extended. We'll see how this plays out over the next four weeks. Um, you know, looking for that timing for communication. We'll dive deeper into this person as well. I hope uh, to see you there. Link is in the comments and the description box. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.